Hello everybody, welcome back to another Trailmakers tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a quick and easy fighter jet. So let's get building. All right, for this build, I'm going to start out by grabbing the cockpit piece here. And then we're just going to make a very simple nose shape. So I'm going to use these one by two roundeds. Make a cone shape like this. And I'm thinking on adding a cone here to make a very nice shape like this. This should be very aerodynamic as well. And uh, we need to begin building the frame. So I'm just gonna grab a one by two piece here, a two by four piece. Just gonna do it this size guys, N nothing too long. And I'm thinking on adding a couple wedge pieces over here. Um, we're gonna go for a two by one well a two by two by one wedge corner piece and then i'm gonna actually grab myself a a two by four wedge and just gonna stick them on like this so i'm gonna try and build this build in layers guys so i'm gonna start with the top half of this build we're gonna grab a rounded two by two here And I think I'm going to start making the tails now. So I'm going to grab myself a simple tail fin. Where is it? Here it is. Let's just place it here. And the same on the other side. And I think I'm going to take some inspiration from the modern uh, day jet. I think it's the F-35 fighter jet. Just want to put this on this side like this. And now we want to add some hinges. And these are going to be for our pitch, guys, so we can pitch the jet up and down. Um, you know what? I'm thinking of adding a wedge in here instead. Like this, maybe? And then we have our tail. I think that looks alright. Yeah, that will do for me. And uh, now I want to start building the wings. So I'm going to grab myself a wedge here. And I'm just going to like curve out the front end of the wings because it is a jet. So if I do this, copy it on the other side and just make sure it's connected here. And then I'm actually going to use a different wedge so they will spread out more. And... Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to add another one here. And we'll go for one more, why not? Alright, I'm going to go grab myself a modular wing now. And stick it inside the build of the wings here. Maybe I might want to just add them forward a bit like this. Okay, yeah, that, that should be a little better now. Uh, because we want to have the lift pieces more in the front here. Otherwise, our nose will be too heavy and it will be very difficult to fly. Going to stick another modular wing inside the plane here to add more lift. Let's try and get these pieces connected, guys. Some more 1x2s just to fill in the gaps here. And you know what? I'm actually going to rotate this piece and uh, stick it like this because I feel like these wings are actually uh, the perfect size now. Uh, if I add a another modular wing here... Ooh, hang on. Another one by two like this. And then let's just steal the hinge from here. Copy and paste. And I'm just going to stick it right there. And this will be for our roll controls, guys. So we're going to make sure we copy this to the other side. And to fill in this gap, since we don't have a one by one by one block, I'm just going to use a tail light and rotate it inside here, which will fill this gap a bit. It'll make it look a little cleaner. So now we need to try and figure out how we want to connect these pieces. I'm going to grab myself a one by three block. Oh, no, actually a one by four. Stick it here. Because you don't want to connect anything to the side of the modular wings here or it won't rotate with the hinges. And then maybe another one like so to connect the tail pieces to the body. Alright guys, now I'm thinking we need to add some propulsion. So I'm going to go add a mini thruster. 
and I'm just gonna stick them inside the build like this. Uh, we'll rotate this one here. And I'm going to add myself a dragon jet. It can't be a jet without a dragon jet, am I right? Now we just need to connect everything. Uh, I'm going to grab a 1x2 wedge. Just poke it in this slot there. Fill in these gaps even. Uh, and then I'm just going to shape the bottom. I'm not going to add landing gear to this build, guys. Uh, this is just... Uh, quick tutorial on how to make a quick jet. If you guys want to add landing gear, you can do. And I'm all I'm going to do is just copy the shape from the top to the bottom, keeping it nice and even. And the aerodynamics should be nice and even as well. Just going to fill in this slot here, grab a 2x1 wedge, or 2x2 two two wedge even, sorry. Stick it in there. Going to add myself... Wedge there. And, ooh. I don't know why, or what I was thinking here. Hang on. Right, you know what, guys? I have a better idea. Because this quite looks quite messy. I'm just going to select all of these mini thrusters and just rotate them around and yeah okay that looks a little better here okay i see the problem here um i need to configure my hinges up and down and my roll is actually backwards so i'm just gonna switch that round like so and then finally i'm going to configure uh my thrusters so I'm going to set this to LT for the afterburner and then all my mini thrusters I'm going to set as RT. Alright guys, I think this bad boy is ready for a test flight. Okay. I was expecting the nose to be a little heavier there, but this is actually quite alright. Uh, it has enough lift. I'm quite happy with this already. It feels a bit fast on the roll, but I can always just turn down the speed and angle of the hinges. It's not too bad for a little fighter jet. We're actually going to try and attempt to go through this ring of fire. Ooh, perfect. Even got the 25 coins. Alright guys, I'm pretty impressed with the way this jet has turned out. All we need to do now is give it a quick paint job and decals. Alright guys, that is the jet completely painted. Uh, I've added some decals here on the nose and on the body, like a number 22. And just a few extra decals on the wingtips. I've actually used the decals to cover up the little lights here on the wings. That's also a very good tip. Uh, let's go take this bad boy for a, a quick test flight again. Also guys, whilst I was messing around with adding the paint job, I've also added a feature where I've added a few hinges that toggle the tail fins. I don't know if you can see that properly. Oh, here it is. You know, they fold out more, so it's more accurate to a, uh, let's say, the F-35. And it doesn't affect the flight too much. If anything, it's actually making the plane more stable. And we are hitting those top speeds now. 280, 290. Let's hit 300, can we? 300 miles per hour. And we're going to do some stunts here. Let's go through this ring. Oh, awesome. Yeah, guys, this is this is it. This is a quick and easy jet. Um, I thought I'd have more problems with making this, but uh, it turns out, yeah, this is very smooth to fly. It doesn't have any weapons yet, guys. Uh, if you do want to add weapons, I'd suggest just like adding them under the wings or something, or maybe try and get them under the nose, maybe. Uh, depending on how you feel, guys. Oh, I nearly hit the cliff there. That's crazy. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.